Hi, now we'll learn about the two very popular methods of addition in algebra. First is column method or tower method and the second is horizontal method. Okay. So we'll what we'll do is we'll take two equations or two expressions and then we'll try adding them using both the methods. So let me first write first equation. Okay. So let it be 4x plus 3y equal to 5 and let the second be 5x plus 6y equal to 10. So these are the two equations. First one is 4x that is 4 times x plus 3y that is 3 times y equal to 5 and the second is 5 times x plus 6 times y equal to 10. So now if we use column method to add these two equations what we have to do is first we will write the first equation. Okay, let me rewrite the first equation again, which is 4x plus 3y equal to 5. And now I'll write this second equation below this first equation in such a way that the variable part, the terms with same variable part should be aligned. Like first term in the first equation is 4x. So, while writing the second equation, I'll try to align this 5x with 4x. So, I'll write 5x plus, this is 6y and here the second term in the first equation is also the term with variable part y. So, I'll just write it as it is 6y. Equal to should also, equal sign should also align 10. Okay. So the most important thing in using column method or tower method is we have to align the terms in such a way that the variable parts are just below each other or the variable parts are in the same column or the variable parts are in the same power. Okay. The first term of first equation and the first term of second equation are in the same column and both have the variable part as x. Similarly, the second term of first equation has variable part y and the second term of second equation also has variable part y and they are also in the same column. Right? And this equal to sign is also in the same column. And these constants are in another column, but both of both of them are in the same column. Okay. So this is the way to write equations one below another. So I've erased all my markings. Now I'll tell you how to add. Just draw a line horizontal line as we do in normal addition and then as we have learned in earlier videos we can add only like terms so we will add this 4x and 5x and that is the reason why we want them in the same order right because in algebra we can add only like terms so that is why we want all like terms in the same column so our addition becomes easy right so 4x plus 5x will be what we what we have to do we, if we are adding like terms we just add their coefficients constant coefficient constant part of the term and right so what is 4 plus 5 is 9 and variable part remains as it is 9x this is plus sign plus 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 sign and what is the sum of 3y and 6y Again, we have to do the same thing. We have to add the coefficient that is 3 plus 6, 9, y equal to 
5 plus 10 15. So this was the tower method. And this was the tower method in which both the equations have the same order of variables. Like, like in the first equation, we have the term with variable x in the first place and the term with the variable y in the second place and then we have equal to sign and then we have constant. In the same manner, in the second equation also, the first term is the term with variable x and the second term is the term with variable y. Then we have equal to sign and then we have constant 10. Okay, so the order in which terms are written are same in both the equation. So this is in the uh, first example in which we need not to do anything. We just wrote our first equation and below that we wrote second equation. This was equation number one and this was equation number two and we added them as it is. Okay, now let's take one more example. In this example, let's have two equations. First equation is 2x plus 3y equal to 0. And the second equation is 4y plus 2z plus x equal to 5. The first equation, if we see carefully, it has only two variables. One is x and another is y. Whereas, in second equation, we have three variables. First is y, second is z, and third is x. We have equal to sign in both the equations, right? And then we have constant part on the right hand side of the equal to sign. So here the addition is a bit tricky. Why? First, the first equation has only two variables. The second equation has three variables. In the first equation, the terms written in x and then y. The first term is containing variable x and second term has variable y. Whereas in the second equation, we have first variable is y. Second is z and then we have x as third variable. So as we have done in earlier example, we'll write this, this first equation as it is. 2x plus 3y equal to 0. Second equation, we have to rewrite. That is, first we have to write x. Let's rewrite the second equation here itself. So, the second equation will be actually equal to x plus 4y plus 2z equal to 5. These two equations are actually same. We have just rewritten this second equation into a particular order. We know the commutative property of addition a plus b is equal to b plus a. That means in addition we can add in any order, right? So now let's write this modified second equation. This is our modified second equation below our first equation. So we have to write it, it is x plus 4y plus 2z equal to 5. But what happened here? Here these equal to signs are not aligning. So what I'll do, I'll remove this and then align this equal to sign here and 0. And now let's add them. So now if we add them, 2x plus x is 3x plus 3y plus 4y are 7y plus 
then the first equation doesn't have any term containing z as variable but second term has one term so here it can be it's like 2z added with nothing will be equal to 2z equal to 0 plus 5 5 here also we have used column method let's segregate this let's draw a line here so that we know it was example number two it was example number two where we have first uh, equation has only two terms second term second equation had three terms but it they both of them had terms in different orders so what we can do if the equation don't follow the same order of variables we can rearrange them right because we know a plus b is equal to b plus c that means in addition we can add terms in any order order of terms doesn't change the value of the equation so we have written first equation as it is second we have rearranged and then written so that the columns align columns each column has the terms with the same variable okay the, as the first column has terms with variable x the second column has terms with variable y and the third column with terms with variable z so we have learned one more thing what is that if we don't have a term with certain variable we can leave that place empty right as this place is empty over here this is this place belongs to term with z as variable okay since the first equation doesn't have any term with variable z we can leave it empty and then equal to sign should also align and the constant should also align and then we can add as we want so this was addition using tower method or column method now we'll learn addition using horizontal method this method we'll use second example only so let's rewrite the equations of second example which was 2x plus 3y equal to 0 and the second equation was 4y plus 2z plus x equal to 5 these were our equations in original format okay so now let's learn second method which is horizontal method of addition so in this method what we do we just rewrite these equations in such a way that time that the portion of equation on the left hand side of equal to sign are on the same side like if we rewrite this it will be 2x plus 3y this is the left hand side portion of first equation and then we'll rewrite the left hand side portion of the second equation which is 4y no sign before 4y that means it is positive term so plus 4y plus 2z plus x and then we since we have written all the terms on the left hand side of both the equations like this we have written this 2x plus 3 by and we have also noted down this 4y plus 2z plus x then we'll put equal to sign and then we'll write the first right hand side terms of the first equation that is 0 plus the right hand side of the second equation that is 5 and now we'll add and we know that we can add only like terms so if we want to add equations in horizontal method horizontal method then we have to search for like terms what so what are the like terms this is this is 2x and another term which is like this is x so this will be 2 plus 1 x then we have this these two are like terms then plus 3 plus o y 
and then we are left with this 2z. We will write this also. 2z. Then we have reached this equal to sign. And then we will add the right hand side. Which is 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. So now let's solve this further. 2 plus 1 is 3. x plus 3 plus 4 is 7. y plus 2 times z equal to 5. So this was a second method. Now let's compare answers. This answer we got using horizontal method and this was the answer which we reached, which we got using tower method, which is 3x plus 7 plus 2z equal to 5. And the answer we got using horizontal method is also 3x plus 7y plus 2z equal to 5. Okay. So we get answer same using both the methods. That is what the case should be. So which method to practice more? I will suggest you to practice horizontal method more. Okay, because it is more useful in higher mathematics.